Good evening, YouTube. So, I have in fact discovered the Cadillac will fit in the garage with the garage door shut. And we have it in here because over the next couple days, I'm going to take you guys along for the adventure of me trying to rebuild and replace everything brake-wise on the car. So, wish me luck. I hope this doesn't take longer than a couple days because I really don't want it to. I want to have this fixed, done, and driving by the time I go back to work. Which means I have four days to get it done. <sighs> gonna be a lot of fun um so we'll see how it goes yeah i was just surprised it fits in the garage it's gonna be a bear to work around but it fits in the garage that's the big thing that means if i don't get it all done in one day i can still shut the door go inside not have to worry about it for the night although it does mean now i gotta pull the convertible back into the driveway and put the top up so there's that but yeah it fits all right, I'll bring you guys back when I'm doing something. This is all I'm getting done for the night. I'm going inside and relaxing. So we'll start on it in the morning. I was going to show you guys how to bench bleed one of these things. But unfortunately, I don't have, even though this looks correct, it's not. Um, I don't have the correct fittings to fit into this other than the ones that are physically attached to the Cadillac. So I'm kind of letting it just... Uh, gravity bleed itself for the most part and hopefully that's going to get all the air out of it it's not the best way or the brightest way to do it but from there once it's on the car i can get more of the air out of it while it's attached to the rest of the system so because i like i said i just don't have the proper none of the proper fittings i was hoping i was i'd find one or two to where i can make it work but it's not it's not happening because None of these are right. Like this one, while it looks kind of correct, is for an absolutely massive tube. Like I don't remember what these even go to. But I want to say one of these is going to fit like this side. No, don't even fit. This one fits here kind of, but it doesn't fit very well. That could partially be because of the fact that uh, there's no line in it but yeah <clears throat> so i'm kind of uh <coughs> out of luck on that as you can see what it's doing right now it's just it's it's bleeding itself so i can kind of help it work a couple bubbles out but with there being no line it doesn't do it very well so it's not an ideal situation i've also thought about for at least one trying to shove the hose through there but that's not really working either so i don't know <laughs> just not an ideal situation all around i could try that maybe maybe that'll work i don't know here let me get off here and try this see if this does anything all right that got at least the front half completely bench bled it was not pretty I would not recommend it. That's why I didn't videotape it, but it did what I needed it to do. I'm just gonna have a lot of work bleeding the back half, so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But the next step is gonna be to go ahead and get the hood open on the old Cadillac and start getting the old one out. And here's hoping that none of the fittings are fully seized and I don't twist off any lines. And now that I said it, I'm guaranteed it's gonna happen. Here we go. This is a miracle from God. Broke free, doesn't turn the line. Broke free, doesn't turn the line. Woo! All right. I guess now I will get you guys set up in the tripod and show you it coming off. <laughs>
am not gonna lie. I think that is the quickest I have ever changed a master cylinder on anything. That went almost too well. Now I'm a little worried. <laughs> but <clears throat> it's done. Honestly, I don't think I really leaked a lot of fluid. Which means... Yeah, my brake pedal still feels good. So now, that's with the car not running. But still, I'm willing to bet now I am no worse off than I was when I started this. If not, a little bit better. Because the back is drained out of fluid on this one a couple times. I'm not sure if it was from the master cylinder. The fact that it looks like it leaked all the way around the top of the lid. Or if there's something going on with the back brakes. Because I know at least one of the wheel cylinders in the rear is leaking a little bit. So that's why I want to get them changed. I want to get the calipers pulled, rebuilt. Get them changed. Hopefully get the rubber lines changed. <coughs> I have the rotors for the front, but I don't have new bearings. So I think before I change the rotors, I want to get new wheel bearings, even though these ones aren't making noise. So might not change the rotors as go around, might just change the pads. We'll see when I get it all apart, see how they actually look. I bought them as kind of a precaution because even if I don't need them now, I'm going to need them later. And parts are only going to be so easy to find for this car for so long. So, having two of them sitting on the shelf, not exactly a bad idea. Um, but I think for the minute, now that I got that done already, um, I want to work on getting the front end in the air. I'll probably start on the driver's side front, or passenger side front, even though that doesn't make sense. And I should do the back first. <clears throat> I'm not 100% ready to mess with the back yet. <laughs> uh, that is probably going to be a tomorrow thing where I have the garage door open all day and get it done. Whereas the fronts I can do in here with the garage door shut and not that be that big a deal. So yeah, uh, we'll see where this goes. I also think it's about time to feed the kids too. So who knows where that's going to lead. And get our fire alarm all right. Mom. And then we'll just test okay. the spark out at the end of one spark oh. plug. And then maybe send some gas down her damn throat. There she go. All right, buddy. Alright, man. Mom, you're working the fingers. Bill's already in the video. I'll put, every, oh, I'll put everyone to work. I don't give a damn. Yeah. Mom. She's going to be famous now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can't afford hourly, though, but I got water. I pay. Oh, pay geez. water? I'm good with that, bro. After 5 o'clock, it Mom. switches to Modelo if you want. I'll be back at 4 uh, 45. <laughs> Pulled the wheel off. I was going to get the passenger side done off camera so I could then show you guys me doing the driver's side on camera and have an idea of what I was doing and not fumble around with it for an hour and a half like I normally do. Maybe actually explain to you guys what I'm doing. Just to discover that I don't necessarily have the right tools and that either this wheel bearing is a lot worse than I thought or this wheel is actually in really bad shape um either way i called around the wheel bearings are in town so i'm gonna go ahead and go grab those <clears throat> and make a run to harbor freight and grab some tools because you know that's what i need to do today <laughs> Uh, well, I've been looking for an excuse to go buy some new Allen head uh, sockets, so I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to hop in the old convertible and go for a little drive, gather up all that stuff and come back. And then maybe actually get some work done on the Cadillac today. Because I've been off for six days. This is day five of six, and I really want to get this done before I go back to work, so... Kind of needs done today. Ooh, the door is not shut on the Cadillac. Either that or it's pissed off that it's in the air. I don't know. It could be mad that it's in the air. We'll, we'll cross that bridge later. But, yeah. So, I guess I am, uh... I'm going to wash my hands off because I don't want to get in the convertible with dirty hands. And then we're going to put the top down and go for a cruise. Uh, maybe I will... Go ahead and throw a mountain there finally and take you guys along for the ride. So, because 
you guys have not got to ride in the convertible, even though you've got to at least see the convertible. So, yeah. All right. Here we go. One of my favorite parts about this car, besides, you know, power windows. Oh. Back windows down. And we'll just undo the latches here. And then, I don't gotta do anything to put the top down. It is so nice. Ah. Breezy. I had intended to bring you guys along for the ride, but the old phone mount there will not mount to the windshield in this and stay stuck. So I don't know why, but I have a feeling I want to buy a different one for this car. So, unfortunately, no ride. But hey, we're at Harbor Freight. One thing you gotta give them. They got a selection at least. And I think what we're going to get is even on sale. Look at this. So we'll grab both. Never have too many tools. Right, Harbor Freight? That's what we needed. Now hopefully I can get the brakes done on the Cadillac. I'm back. I have everything torn apart on this side. I think about as far as I'm going to tear it apart. I'm going to see if I can get the brake line to free up over here. If I can get the brake line to come free there, then I'll take it off of the caliper and actually change it out. But as of right now, I'm not holding my breath on that happening, so I don't know if I want to change it right now or not. Because realistically, yeah, these are old, but they don't look like they're in bad shape. So, which is probably not the best assumption on my part to make, but we're going to make it. And I'm going to save the caliper rebuilds for another time because i don't necessarily feel like doing them right now either uh i just want to get it to where things are actually functioning to see whether or not i have other issues that i need to deal with so as of right now the goal is working but maybe not perfect just to make sure that everything is within a range of being fixed Seeing this also shows that someone was maintenancing the car at least kind of well because I've got grease right here where it's come out of the boot, but I don't, I'm not finding any cracks in the boot for the ball joint, which is good. Um, the bushings for the sway bar are looking a little worse for wear, so it shows I probably should be doing them at some point soon. I'm sure it could stand some new struts as well so i've got a lot i want to go ahead and still get done that's not getting done right now because i don't have the cash to do it right now but i'm also leaving things i know i want to do oh excuse me guys that i know i want to do later anyway so it will all get done at that point um because I'm putting new brake pads and stuff in it now. But realistically, if I do want to take this thing on Power Tour next year, I'll probably throw new brake pads in it before Power Tour as well. And just kind of give the whole car a general overview before that. Um, and hopefully by that point, I'll be pulling these wheels and tires off and putting a different set on too. So i really would like the a video to involve me putting airbags on this car before power tour but i'm not holding my breath on that so yeah but the work's coming along i did decide i'm going to go ahead and do these because the wheel bearings <clears throat> do seem to need done at least on this side and that rotor is you see how deep this groove is See how deep that one is? The back side is even worse. I don't want to flip it at the moment because, well, I still got the washer and stuff sitting there that needs to go back on here. And I'm not trying to make that mess. So I will show you the back side. And it looks like the studs are physically pulling farther through here than they're supposed to. So I don't want to... I don't want to waste my time with these anymore. I'm just going to get these ones put on because they're new, they're shiny, they look good. Even though you, you'll never see them on here, but I'll know they're there, which will make me happy. So, because at some point when we go back through some of this, we're going to pull things like, we're going to pull this completely apart, sandblast it, clean it up, put it back on. We'll go through here, repaint some things, clean up the A-arms and stuff, new everything. 
but that is not today. So, all right. Now I need to run down to advance and grab the bearing pack tool because I hate doing them by hand. I never get them quite right. But one of those bearing pack tools I've had before in the past worked just fine. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, I know it's not the best way of doing it according to people because packing them by hand is better. But I suck at packing them by hand. We're going to go get the tool. Got the bolts cleaned up and I went and bought my bearing pack tool. Well, has it setting over here with grease already in it so i'm going to show you why i like these um because i know a lot of people say it's better to do it by hand and this that and the other but personally i hate how messy you get doing it by hand and i don't see an issue with these tools oh you do take bearing out of the package take the outer race off which before i put this in there and pack it these already have races in them yep seats spins good to go all right Oop. so here's why i like these go ahead and spin this right here off set that down in there like that like so Put this on the right way. And it should. Maybe it won't tighten. Eh, it probably won't tighten now because it's tightened. Anymore. But now, all you gotta do to get this to pack. Start pushing down. And it takes some effort. You know, because you gotta fight through the grease and get it to come up through some small holes. You just keep pushing down on it. And eventually, the grease starts coming out of the bearing. So, just like that, you have a packed bearing. Now, there isn't a tongue coming out of the outside, which uh, there normally isn't. So, from there, what we'll do, we'll pull that out of there. I'll put some grease around the outside of it, put it in here, and it'll be good to go. So, now, can you do that with hand packing it? Of course. And hand packing is admittedly more thorough. But my god, is it ten times messier. And as odd as it sounds, I'd rather not deal with that much of a mess. Because I get messy enough as is. So, yeah. There's that. So, alright. I'm going to go ahead and shut this back off or see if I can't set you guys up in the tripod. Start getting this thing back together. I will show you more of me doing everything on the other side. So, because this side was just supposed to be me figuring out to make sure I was doing it right before I videoed the other side. And we see how well that's going. With one brake and the master cylinder changed, it's already better than it was. Drove to advance because the wife was at work and she wanted to go get food. So, I'm waiting for her to get back better time than never to test anything out and see if it's going to work i do think i still need to pull that caliper apart and probably rebuild it so i think it's sticking a little bit but it pulls now and it didn't pull before so that makes me think those brakes being fixed is now actually doing something and it's not just this poor front brake doing all the work so next thing is now when i get back home after getting the kids' food from her is to pull the driver's side apart and get that done and then hopefully, I'm just going to change out the rear uh, wheel cylinders, and that will have the brakes solved on this thing. I freaking hope.
All right, this side is done. Sorry I did not explain it as much, but uh, someone just got home from work and we were talking. So I was doing that instead. And then I guess someone sitting inside the car watching her dinosaurs. It's Jurassic Park, the cartoon. And uh, has her own little car show going on. Her own little drive-in theater. You watching your show from inside the car? Well, be careful. Go and get your head stuck doing that. So, go ahead and get your head back inside the car, baby. Don't sit down. I want your dinosaur. <laughs> she might need help, Mom. <laughs> <She> got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you see what I'm doing tonight. So, so this officially means the front brakes are done. I was looking at I got the stuff to rebuild them but both bleeders are gonna crack off if I even try to open them. So, which has me concerned for doing the rear ones, but I'm hoping since it's not the same side of the master cylinder, it'll be fine. <laughs> and I won't need to bleed all four. Um, but that being said, I am going to be on the lookout for a new pair of front driver's side and passenger side calipers for this car because I now really want to replace them. So, because I now have my concerns on how good these ones are going to stay. I have my concerns on how good the other one is currently. So, as much as I hate saying I might watch how many miles I put on this until I find them, I might be watching how many miles I've put on this until I find them. Which sucks. I love driving this car. But, and someone, not to name names, what? or show exactly who, can't seem to order them for me at the auto parts store, so, because apparently they don't exist. My store's not the only problem. No, I also can't get them at AutoZone or O'Reilly's either. I think I'm, I think I'm going to have to call Napa. I really, I really think I'm going to have to talk it's to Leo Napa. by or bringing something home that is ancient. It's 19 set. Okay, it is ancient. ancient. That's beside the point. It's your guys' fault for not carrying parts for COVID. literally an American car. COVID. I don't know. Yeah, I blame COVID. That's <laughs> not. That's a load of horse shit, and we both know it. <sighs> anyway, I guess now I'm gonna lower it back down. We'll put the tire on, and then lower it back down. I wonder if the wheels from the Rambler will fit on here. Let's not try. Yeah, I know. They look cooler, though. It, it, it already has two flat tires. Yeah. Flat. Yeah. Fucking Rambler. Anyway. All right, yeah. Time to get the tire back on, get it back on the ground, and go from there. Decide what I'm doing with the back right now. Uh, my memory serves me wrong on some things. Because I swore I had pulled this drum off before and looked at these pads and went, Oh, the shoes aren't bad on this thing. I just need wheel cylinders. I must have been thinking of a different car. Because these shoes are shot. So, someone's looking to see if she can order me a set. And, uh, hopefully we can get those here tomorrow. And maybe I can get these done tomorrow. Although, I'm not holding my breath on it now at this rate. So... Might not get this done like I was hoping. This... This may have just turned into a uh, a next week a next next week project to finish up, which sucks because I wanted to get it all done this weekend, and also means this video is probably going to be delayed because I want it to be just one video of just the Cadillac. So we might be uh, rushing around to do something on the Celica tomorrow to make a video instead of this, because so, I do have a couple simple projects I want to get done on it. But how's it looking on those pads or shoes? I'm going to take that as is possible, but not good. So, yeah, all right. So, I think at this rate, I'm going to throw the tire back on and call it a night, and I will let you guys know in the morning what's going on. Because the next thing that's going to happen is either me going, hey, I got the shoes, and it's the next morning. 
or it's gonna be hey it's the next week and i have shoes and maybe calipers and we do this whole thing right we'll see what happens so it's another week later and i now have everything to do the back brakes on the cadillac and possibly go ahead and try and redo the front brakes again with the new hoses and if i can get the bleeders out that's the that's the big thing i got to figure out baby i hate to break it to you but i don't think your truck's big enough <laughs> try try doing it this way try doing it here <laughs> she's determined her truck is going to hold these buckets does it need to be higher do you need it higher well if you go down with it we can't get it to come back up holding the bucket so you gotta bring the buckets to it do you want it up higher and then we can lift the buckets higher okay the uh, handle on her truck here is not uh, exactly the best. Mm. Ah. There we go. Is that high enough? You want Daddy to lift the buckets up there now? There you go. Your truck's got them. Happy now? That poor truck's gonna break. <laughs> he's not gonna break? Daddy doesn't know what he's talking about, does he? Yeah, it's holding it up just fine, isn't it? It's really. Um, but anyway, now that we've gotten the buckets taken care of, I've got. I got the new bleeders laying here. I still have my mess from uh, doing that in another video and from the breaks last week because I tried making two videos in the same week not having anything to finish either one of them so now I'm trying to get both videos finished this week and then put them out separately but yeah so we're gonna get the back brakes done and we're going to try to get the front brakes cleaned up a little bit more but before we can do any of that tonight is trick-or-treat and we got to go do that instead so I figure I will take you guys along for some of trick-or-treat and then tomorrow we will actually start digging into the caddy but for today since I did have a little bit of free time I didn't record it because well it was kind of boring and simple Oh, we got to get in the car to see it, though. I was getting annoyed with the fact that I have no working uh, cigarette lighter in here for things such as a phone charger. And this is not only a phone charger. This also connects to the radio as well. Ooh. Look at him do the little swirly sort of thing. So... I can actually listen to music off of my phone through this radio through the two working speakers the car still has because neither one of the dash speakers want to work anymore which could partly be the radio maybe but I it's the original radio and I'm trying really really hard to not change it all oh, those things are going crazy on here now the phone does not like that oh 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 we're steady we're steady we're steady Hey, if we're here, we're fine. We're back here, not so much. Oh, look at them go. Bad. Oh, look at them. Oh, good. Bad. Good. Bad. Good. The funny part is that's all on the phone screen. But anyway, I fixed that cigarette lighter. And that one. And by fix them, I mean I literally pulled the old ones out, went to advance, picked up two new ones, put them in, and called it a day. So there is two more in the back I could do the same with, but I don't really need all four of them to work. Two of them working is plenty. 
Well, one of them working was plenty. Two of them working means we definitely don't have to worry about phone charger port slots. So everything's good. And I also figured out why after... Because I fixed this one a few days ago, kind of. Like, it was just kind of literally flopping down here. Just so I could see if it was going to work. If it was a wiring issue or if it was, in fact, just the plugs being corroded to high hell. And I discovered in the process that the cigarette lighter was stuck in that one. Like, you could not get it out. And shortly after fixing this, I realized I kept popping the fuse for the lighters. Well, I think the problem the entire time has been that that one had the the actual cigarette lighter was jammed in it on. So, which is also making me understand why every great once in a while I randomly get a hot smell in the car. I think it was that thing actually heating up. Um, that's done and gone now. Uh, now it's... I mean, they're still technically cigarette lighters, so if I went and got an actual cigarette lighter, I could put it in it and it would work. Um, but I left the little 12-volt socket plugs on them so I can just cap them off when we're not using them. And then this fits in the ashtray, and technically I think the ashtray lid over there will close with this one in place. I'm not 100% sure, but if you leave them plugged all the way in, they don't shut off because they're cigarette lighters not charging ports so yeah i got that done today also fix my door handle finally i need to find a cap to put over it um but yeah so so some things did happen today not a lot though and that is something i still need to do though let's see if we can find stuff to do that quick we'll do that all right now on camera I need to still put that back on. Um, some people aren't going to like the way I'm going to do it, but I've done it with other stuff. And it works fairly well as a glue, if I have any. What, baby? I hear you, baby. I don't appear to have any left. I thought it was in this drawer. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong drawer. Nope, it appears I'm out. Well, what I was going to do was take just a couple dabs of RTV. Oh, I got silicone glass window sealant, which was for the van that we no longer have. Baby! Same basic idea, different product. Ooh, ah. This stuff, this Permatex stuff, pretty much any of the Permatex. There we go. It's on the car now. I bumped the button mid-process and, well, yeah, you guys didn't get to see all that. But I put some of that window sealant on the back of that emblem put it on there. On this part, not this part. This part's got 3M tape holding it on. That part's got the sealant holding it on. So that's done. Showed you what I did there. Walk you through what we gotta do here later tonight. So I think for now, me and a little one are going to go inside and, uh, well, honestly, probably work on uploading a video to YouTube. And, yeah, I think we're gonna go inside and have something small to eat before we gotta go trick or treating. Okay? And that way we can do that and get you dressed. And then you can work on putting leaves in your bucket later, okay? Yeah, you're going to have to get dressed for trick or treat. You got to put your costume on. Someone's going to be Pikachu. And Bub's going to be Ash. So Bub's the trainer. Yeah, Bub's going to be Ash, and you're going to go as Pikachu. And then we're going to go get candy. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I am. <laughs> you, now you, you're gonna be Pikachu. Are you going? Are you gonna wear your ears? No. no. But how can you be Pikachu without the ears? Nothing. 
Well, I guess we'll have to figure that one out, huh? All right, let's go inside. We're gonna get a video uploaded. And then we're gonna wait for mommy to get home so we can get around and go trick or treating. Sound good? All right, see you guys in a little bit. Shopping at our first house. This is uh, <laughs> very impatiently waiting to see about candy <laughs> and waiting on the puppy. We've been at one house and this little girl already has a bucket full of candy. <sighs> She's too cute for her own good today. And we're at house number three. Second house we stopped at, they were having a wedding while handing out candy. So that was kind of a new one. And some very interesting costumes. And we're going here, going all the way down that way, and back down and around. I don't know where from there. I'll bring it back later. Reading went good last night, but I have been totally unmotivated today with the intent of trying to get the brakes done on the back of this, but literally no motivation to do it. So I think in order to try to get some motivation, me and a little one here are going to run down and wash the car off. Maybe go see mom for a minute because she's at work. And then hopefully somewhere in there I find some motivation to actually get the uh, back brakes done on this thing. I'm holding my breath on it, but we'll see. Oh, what I do with the key? There's the key. What, baby? Let's see how easy it's gonna start today. I really need to get a battery for this thing. What, baby? Is there a bug somewhere? It's okay. cold and does not want to work with me here. Oh, see ya. There we go. Put you guys up there. Let's go.
too.
excluded me, so here we go. Do the basic wash. A whole six dollars. your 73 Cadillac to see a like 80 something Dodge Daytona and a basically brand new Alfa Romeo if I was a little less weird about people I would stop and go hey can I film your cars these are cool Probably would have still cost me five, six bucks. 
I wasn't gonna be able to film it. What, baby? What about the roof? Well, the roof is fine. The roof doesn't go down in this one, baby. Well, the roof doesn't go up either. It's just the roof stays where the roof is. She's so used to us riding in the convertible, she thinks we'll just go up and down and everything. Yeah, that was a doggy. Can you see the doggy? <laughs> I feel like I should have you guys focused on her right now instead of the throat. Well, no, that wasn't a kitty cat. That was a doggy. Silly girl. Halloween? Because she wanted to go trick-or-treating again. I'm like, no, that's once a year. She's like, but, but candy. <laughs> it's like, no, that's once a year, baby. Oh. And we're here. Six dollars of a drive through car wash. Got it cleaner than I thought it would. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a ugly green <laughs> rusty 73 Cadillac so definitely not bad though worth it it was worth six bucks it was worth six bucks just to see how bad it leaked so there we go one test oh I need to get the Spongebob three weeks later clip going I think after this because we are now officially on uh, my third four set which would be three weeks uh, of trying to do the brakes on this dang car. Uh, this is because I keep getting lazy and doing other stuff instead. Uh, I'm actually on my third of four days off. I spent the first two days cleaning around the garage, getting everything cleaned up a little bit more. Still had some cleaning to do that I didn't get done, but... Uh-oh. We have done the falling. Oh, there we go. You good? Okay. Went through and hung up a lot more lights. So the whole garage is actually fairly well lit now. And uh, if you actually look at how my lights are hung up, it will probably drive you crazy because there is no um, method to the madness of how they're hung up. They're just up. So <laughs> eventually I'm going to go through and redo them a little differently. But for now, this is how they are and this is how they're going to stay. So... <laughs> uh, eventually I'd like to rehang some things a bit differently that side's got way more light because obviously that's where I normally would be doing all my work this side was just for storage so I didn't have a ton of lighting and now I think it's almost balanced out to where it's all got about the same amount so but yeah anyway enough of that rambling um, back brakes that's what we're going to be working on today God, I hope I get these done for this video because I have nothing else planned. Um, I have no other stuff videoed, no nothing, and realistically don't have any time to video anything else. So, fingers crossed we get this shit done. I cannot stress enough that I have been procrastinating like crazy on this. Uh, for no other reason than laziness. <laughs> It's been terrible. Uh, that being said, it's time to drag the jack around the car. Get this thing in the air. I want to start on the back passenger side. Oh. And if I can get these done before the wife actually goes in the work, it would probably be even better, but I don't see that happening. She's actually the one that told me I need to get out here and get to work because uh, I was still procrastinating even though I knew I needed to get it done. Well, everyone do me a favor. Do not look at the frame while I'm under here. Because it is uh, going to make you sad. So, let's see if we can just get the whole ass into the car up here. 
That's something else I should probably do while I'm under here. I'll probably go ahead and look at doing diff fluid and stuff too. We're gonna get the brakes done first, but while we have the rear in there, we might try to go ahead and get that done too. But I have come to the conclusion that at some point I'm boxing in part of these fra rear frame rails because they are not the best looking things in the world. It's only in a couple small sections, but I will definitely be cleaning them up, boxing them in. And, and it's like, it's for like the trunk drop and stuff, so it's like, it's not that huge a deal. But it'd be a lot less huge of a deal if uh, they didn't look like they were in the bottom of the Titanic. I've got one wheel off the ground really well, not so much the other one though. Oh yeah, the pumpkin's not centered. Well, that makes things difficult. God dang it. Alright, I'll be back while until I get this done. So, pulling the driver's side one off for the first, or the passenger side one off for the first time. It definitely shows that these brakes are junk. That is a layer of, I'm guessing, grease or something built up on all of them, all the way around. I mean, it's just full of it. Um, I'm guessing it's probably realistically uh, just congealed, nasty uh, brake fluid because it's everywhere. It's also all over the inside of the drum. The drum also does not feel smooth. So the wife is going to go see if she can order those. Or see if they're in stock maybe by chance. I'm guessing considering she couldn't get the pads or, or she couldn't get the shoes or the hardware kit. I'm going to assume these are going to be just about as hard to get. So we're seeing how that turns out before I do too much more. And obviously I need like probably a dozen cans of brake clean. So, we're going to see how all this goes. The brake line doesn't feel too bad at the back, so hopefully those won't be too hard to get off. But we'll see. I'm kind of at a, uh, until she calls me, I'm not doing it anymore. So, I don't want to bother putting out the effort until I know whether or not I got the parts. Because I don't want to tear everything apart just to go, well, crap, and then the car would be stuck here. Um, because at this point I can throw the worst case scenario at this point I can throw the drum back on and I can still drive the car so kind of taking a peek at everything else too while we're underneath it here some things that I already knew were not great are not great so there's a shocker that would be the carpet hanging on the bottom which this is all stuff I already knew it's just the first I'm really stopping to look at it up close I mean, a lot of this is still solid. Yes, this is all falling into the brake rotor or drum right now. So that's good for it. Yeah, that's good for it. Oh, God. So, yeah. Waiting for a response from her. Then, uh, going from there. So, see, this side of the frame rail don't look too bad. It's only the other side. So... This also doesn't look too good. I also don't know what that is. Or why it is there. Because it wants to just kind of come off. So we are going to maybe help it along. Huh. But no, I do not plan to drive this car a lot this winter. Because uh, I don't want any of this getting any worse obviously so pretty sure that is a stone that's stuck in there <sighs> but i'm also not necessarily planning on fixing a ton of this either as odd as it might sound for as much as i like this car well some of it's just not worth fixing yeah all right i'm gonna stop rambling i'll bring it back when i'm actually doing something well, I got this side done, got everything on. I didn't end up recording it because, well, every part of it was fighting me. I hate doing drum brakes. You guys, I probably remember when I did them on the Rambler. It's a shit show. <laughs> and these, these springs are under a lot of tension. 
even compared to the Rambler, they are just ridiculous. So, I'm pretty much just trying to get it all done. I had to run a new brake line on this side too, which I'm going to clean that up a little bit more yet from where it was. And uh, I'm, I bought a brake line because I have a feeling I'm going to have to do it on the other side as well, but we will see. I'm not holding my breath on not doing it. So, I'm going to try to record on the other side, but at this point I'm making no promises. I want to get it done. Um, I tried to do my one-man bleeder on this as well, and it was not working all that great. So, I don't know if I got all the air out of this line or not. I know I got a lot of fluid through it, so it should be enough to have filled everything. But we'll find out later. Uh, it is official. I cannot do drum brakes on camera. It involves entirely too much cussing on my end. And there's no way YouTube is going to allow all of it. So, you guys missed a lot, and I'm sorry. One of these days, I will be better at drum breaks. One of these days, I will get to record it. It's, yeah. Well, after going on three weeks worth of work, trying to film on and off, completely failing at filming anything with the back because I just... The tripod kept getting in my way was part of it, and I just couldn't... I hate drum brakes. That's the best way to put it, as I absolutely hate drum brakes. I hate working on drum brakes, and I've never worked on drum brakes that have springs as stiff as this thing does. They were holy crap. I'm guessing... I, I it's Essentially, it's got truck brakes on the rear, and I can only imagine how bad actual truck brakes are, because those things are freaking terrible. Um, the fronts went really well, but the fronts could still use new rubber lines and could still use new calipers. Um, that's something I kind of had a feeling I was going to learn going into it. And while I have rebuild kits, I cannot get the the bleeders out. And I'm afraid if I do turn them, I'm going to snap them off. I will go back into the garage in a minute. You calm your little butt down. She is being a moody little butt. Watch your cartoon. But, and I am not having any real luck finding replacement calipers. I would have thought finding replacement calipers for this, given how easy everything else was to find, was going to be simple. And it's, it's not. I think the only place I can find actual stock replacements is Jeg's. Uh, none of the parts stores can get them locally. Um... None of the parts stores could get rear drums either. At least not quickly and or reasonably priced. I think the only place that was, the only place that was going to be able to get them in a timely manner was AutoZone. And it was going to cost me upwards of 300 bucks, Which I was not okay with. Um, so, not happening. Uh, and th those rear drums weren't that bad. Uh, the one had me a little bit worried. But after I cleaned it out and got all of the... Uh, for lack of a better way of putting it, what well, felt like grease on the inside of it out, it actually wasn't too bad. Uh, everywhere that I thought I was feeling grooves was where it was actually just dry. Um, once I dried it all and got all the grease off of everything, everything actually felt smooth. Um, but, uh, Summit and Jegs both sell uh, some actually interesting brake upgrades. For the calipers for this car that I'm debating on doing. It's 450 bucks for the pair, but would upgrade it to four piston Willwood calipers, which I think are just direct replacements for the front. They're just laid out a little differently. Um, so I am debating on getting those, but I'm not 100% sure just because of the fact of what I plan to use this car for and how much I drive it. I don't know if I want something that's necessarily as hard to get pads for as the Willwood brakes are. Um, and like I said, I can get just stock replacements from Jegs, but the Willwood calipers would look good poking through another set of wheels. So there is that. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out exactly what I want to do. That being said, um, I know ultimately this is going to be kind of a long video this week. Because uh, I haven't even edited, edited anything yet. And I already know. Um, and I didn't guess I didn't accomplish as much as I'd like to. Uh, I was going to take you guys for a little drive in it. But 
uh, you can't tell anything on camera. So it's going to be like any other time that I've drove the Cadillac on camera. Um, the brakes do feel 100% better though. Because now I went from, I felt like I had maybe one good brake to now I've got like three and a half. Uh, which I'm going to take as a success. Because uh, I still don't know exactly how much the front passenger side caliper is really doing. Because I think it's still sticking a little bit. But it's getting better. But, I mean, the car now has... A new master cylinder, new front rotors, new front pads, new rear shoes, new rear wheel cylinders, uh, drums are cleaned up on the inside, so I, brake system wise this car is about as new as it could get at this point and I did check someone else had replaced the rear hose already because there was no rust on the rust on the uh connections of the hard line or not the hard line but the soft line at the rear like there is on the other ones so the rear brake line was replaced sometime right before me and i'm guessing considering it kept draining the rear reservoir uh the back passenger side uh wheel cylinder was just leaking out as much as you put in it so um because the inside of that one was just straight nasty while the inside of the driver's side one was dry it had almost no pad left so i'm thinking it wasn't working because well there wasn't enough pad left to make contact with anything and the uh the adjusters were froze on both so i had to pull the adjusters apart and clean them up really well i greased them while i had them apart so they shouldn't freeze up again that's the amazon a amazon guy so yeah it is what it is the brakes are a lot better um I don't know how much or how soon you guys will be seeing this car on camera again. This is I gotta get some things figured out before I go too much farther. Huh, he stopped. I don't think he's delivering to me. Oh, nope, he's delivering to the neighbor. Um, so, for the minute, this might be the last you guys see of this on camera other than me driving it here and there. Uh, but, that being said, had something show up for this yesterday, thanks to a buddy. Um, buddy of mine out in Minnesota finally found me i shouldn't say he finally found them but he found a set of the transmission mounts i've been wanting for the corolla these are off of a fifth gen celica so that is a 90 to a 93 celica gt the front and the rear these should in fact finally make this more of a bolt-in affair as far as all the transmission mounts go now i do think i'm going to have to notch the cross member not 100 percent sure yet i'm going to probably end up dropping everything out in the next videos you see I'm going to drop the whole engine and transmission back out again which i'm not looking forward to getting those mounts put on getting it back on the subframe and seeing if i'm actually making contact with the subframe with the engine which i think i still will be and probably going through and doing some creative clearancing for things on the firewall. Because right now I'm hitting in a couple places. So not exactly something I want to do, but something I might not have a choice about and I might need to do. So um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, <laughs> worst case scenario, I have, if nothing else, I have learned that these headers with minimal effort will in fact work on my Celica too. Because uh, if they want to work on here, they'll definitely work on there. And I could make a different exhaust setup for the Y pipe on this than I had originally intended. Because I originally wanted to run the headers on it, um, but that was also because I didn't have the Celica anymore. Um, I could go the route that I know a couple other guys have went on some stuff and I could run two front exhaust manifolds I could run a front exhaust manifold on the rear because I have one over there as well and uh give myself maybe a bit more clearance on things um I really wanted to run the headers on this though because this is the car I wanted to make be a little bit more racy than the Celica but that just might not be an option with the headers because the headers do stick out farther, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see the difference these mounts make because while I, I am afraid they are going to move the motor back a little bit, 
I also think they're going to tilt the motor down some as well, too. So I think they're going to drop the whole thing down a little lower and tilt it a little farther forward, um, which will help immensely with a lot of clearance issues. It's fine. Calm your little butt down. You're getting all grumpy over nothing. <laughs> like I said, she has been a little moody thing. What, do I need to sit down? Okay, I'll sit down. Is that better? Okay. Are we done being moody now? No. No? You're, you're going to do that and break your sunglasses. You might want to stop. That's not going to be good for yourself. If you break them, I don't want to hear you cry. Yep. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I've got a few things figured out. It's just a matter of now starting to throw some parts on the car and get it actually done. But now I actually have the ability to do that. Because um, I know how the parts to throw at the car to mount it all up. So that will probably... This will hopefully be all you guys will be seeing for a hot minute here very soon. Um, which I'm sure will be either good news or bad news to some of you. But... I, uh, after a couple years now, I am ready to get this thing in a more vehicle-like state than a storage unit. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. So, I, I'm, I am going to test and play around with the option of, unfortunately, taking off the dual throttle body setup. What? Yeah, you're going to give me a minute and I'll get it untangled because you got it all tangled up. Um, so I might play around with the option of taking off the dual throttle body setup, even though I don't really want to take that off. It, uh, it might make life a bit easier. Ugh. Child, stop it. You want me to untangle them, but then you want to be a butt. She is such a wonderful little girl, let me tell you. Don't let her fool you on camera with her sweet innocence. She's a little butthead. There you go. Take your glasses. But yeah, I might have to lose this because I do believe the single or uh, the single throttle body one is a little narrower in that area, which will give me more clearance and then this can go back on the Celica. What baby? What'd you do? Did you get yourself with the truck? All right, now that we fixed this with cartoons, um, she's in a better mood now. Uh, as I was saying, I think I got some I got some more changes to make on this, but I'm going to stop rambling about that in this video because I know this one's already going to be long enough. Oops. I will see you guys next time. Uh, I'm sorry the video is not better. I'm sorry it's kind of long. I'm sorry. Sorry, it seems a, probably a bit unorganized and not as good as some of the rest of them has been. But hey, it's been a rough couple weeks trying to film. And I've just been trying to get stuff done. So, uh, until next time, remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the adventure. Get out and have some fun. Get to work on your junk, like hopefully I'm going to do next week. See you guys then.